much end of the season now. It's October 13th today, and I came into my garden to see what I can harvest. Um, our average frost date is about mid-October, even though in the forecast for now, in the next 10 days, we only have one night that will go down to 37 degrees. So I probably could still harvest uh, some tomatoes later. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look what I can pick today. I'll just go ahead and pick it as well, even though it could probably sell and stay on the vine for a couple more days. Oh no, there's a little bee on here. And of course it's squashed off. Okay, come on, bee. Hello. Go on the sleep. Okay, it's gone now. And since it is end of the season, a lot of my zucchini leaves have mold on it which is pretty typical these plants will have to come out in the next week or so plus it's time to plant the garlic now uh, so i'll need to clear out the beds to get uh, get some room for my garlic tomatoes some ripe ones and there's quite a few that are still green and like I said I'm really hoping that I'll be able to pick uh, some more of these even though if we do have a frost before the frost I'll come out and pick a lot of these green bigger tomatoes because even after picking them I can uh, just spread them out on the table or somewhere in the house and they will keep ripening just because I haven't been out in the garden for the last, I don't know, five, six days just because when I get off work and come home it's pretty much dark outside so I just haven't gotten a chance to get to it It's so sad. There's still so many blooms on the green beans. I don't know. Yeah, they probably won't form before for a first frost date. But that's okay. There's still quite a few that I can pick today. Oh, I got my little helper here. of uh, sweet peppers here and also the jalapeno peppers but I will go ahead and start with the sweet peppers. These are the lipstick. I mentioned that before in my videos. Oh, these are so nice. They look even better than uh, when I was picking them during summertime. Very nice. Well, maybe except for these. I don't know, these have really dark spots on them, so I'm obviously not gonna take those. And a lot more on this side. Mm, 
might as well just pick these two, they're starting to turn red. And honestly, if you had frost coming up, I would just go ahead and pick all the green peppers. They're pretty good size, but I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see if we can get any more red ones. These you can obviously eat on different recipes. <laughs> These are so tiny, but they're already turning red, so go ahead and pick those. One pepper plant looks really stressed out. So that's probably why those tiny peppers were already turning red. Looks like this one pretty much can be pulled out of the ground now. The green onions are doing amazingly well. And let's pick some jalapeno peppers now. Like I mentioned before, I haven't been out in the garden for a few days now. A lot of these jalapeno peppers started turning red, so they're gonna be nice and spicy. So many of them still on the plant. And so many green beans on this side still. Nice little clump here. Oh, are you coming to help me? Of course you want to help. Ooh, this looks really good too. Way more than what I was expecting. As you can see, there are still quite a few watermelons. They're not fully sized up, so most of these I will just leave on the vines for now. But there is one. The tendril is completely dry over here, so it would be just this little tendril that is right here. It's completely dry, so I'll go ahead and pick this one. And it is not as big as my previous watermelon, so I think I can leave this one up without my husband's help. So let's go ahead and take this one. Okay, it looks like it will need to be washed before I bring it inside. Looks like kittens are having a lot of fun up in that tree. So this is actually way more than what I was expecting. Uh, there's quite a few of peppers which I did not think there were that many. Not that many tomatoes. But again, throughout the season, we've had pretty good harvest, so that's totally fine. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Happy gardening!